Now, time to delve back into the weekend sporting action. Recently, the Mother City's iconic Belleville Velodrome played host to some of the best skateboarders in the land for the Red Bull Unlocked tournament. An unbelievable showdown, and I mean the best in the land. And, of course, there can only be one champion. <laughs> Moses Adams, well done, my brother. Thanks, man. Um, I, I know it's a lot of fun. Getting to, to take part in a tournament yeah. like this is, is incredible, but it is so competitive. Take us through the four rounds. It, it's one of the toughest competitions, surely, on a yearly Yeah, calendar. true. It's like they had different, different stages and stuff like that. So the Valley was very different compared to all the other contests we did, like every year. So it's like instead of building the park, you had to make use of what was in the Valley how oh, cool, man. Cool. Have you ever done that before where you've just kind of gone freestyle in a space like that? And no. <laughs> no, I was just like, when I went there, I was like, okay, well, the setup, I saw everything, and I was like, just had fun instead of thinking what I wanted to do. Don't overanalyze it. What, what went through in the, the, at the end of the day? What was it that, that netted you the win, you think? I just think it was the, the first, the second and the third spots that was there. Like, you get obviously, like, this side, and you have to move to the picnic table and then move that side again. So I think from that side onwards, around that corner it was way better than all others. How do you approach a competition like this? I know you are, so, are, are skating yeah. every day and, and kind of building on your, your repertoire. Do you work on a particular set? Do you have particular tricks in mind? Do you try and kind of bring in new stuff to get that wow factor at a competition? How much how much is your performance elevated when you're on a stage yeah. like oh, this? Oh, it's like when you, it's more like, instead of skating a contest before that, you watch how other people skate. And then when you come on, you obviously got a, got a, like a different idea of what you want to do. So if they do maybe do something with this, uh, like a grind or something, you do something with a flip in it. So, so just just something to, to just edge to edge it up a bit, um, yeah. edge out in front. How important is it? Because you guys, you live on your branding, your sponsorship. Yeah. Um, it's a tough circuit out there. There are a lot of new skaters breaking into the mix. How important is it to get big wins like this? What has this done for you and for your well? Your this has done actually a lot for me. Like I never knew I was going to become this far. Like never knew I was going to become this skateboarder. You know, so it's had fun and just outside my house skating every day and then. Mom, yeah. Parents, so if your child is outside skating every day, okay, this is where you can take it. So, dude, you're going to give us a little bit of a trick demo a bit later on, but can yeah. we get a little taste test? Yeah. Just, just give us a little taste test. Treat this as the velodrome. I know we don't have a picnic <laughs> table, okay? Please okay. watch the wind, okay? The wind is picking up, dude. I don't want you or your cat to fly over the no, bottom. No, I'll be fine. The stage is yours, man. Okay, see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, <laughs> and he didn't even need one practice. Give, give us one more, one, yeah, one more. more. I don't want to set you up. Yeah, but just just one more, just okay. one more, man. Do it again. <laughs> oh yeah, love that. <laughs> and that is why he took unlocked this weekend. BMT, dude. Thank you so much, and again, Pleasure, congratulations. Man. I know this is a massive win in your career, and look forward to a little bit yeah. of a, a little demo later on. So if you're a skateboarder, even if you aren't, stick around. We've got more coming your way. It's my feel good. So we return to our little slice of balcony here with Moses Adam, our unlocked champion, dude. And again, congratulations. Um, you know, it, it came to bear for me looking at the, the setup of this competition where you yeah. had to use kind of the Belleville Velodrome as your, your creative space. Yeah. Four rounds, that is hectic, dude. Are there moments where the body wants to give in? How, how grueling from a physical perspective are competitions like this? Well, normally, like, it's like... Normally, you don't think like your body won't obviously overwhelm like that, but when it actually like when they tell you ready, set, go, then it's like a whole nother level. It's just like it's fierce, so you have to basically man. tell yourself not to give up. You've got to fight, bro, and it, and it's I, I think there is a competitive edge there because there's so many good skaters, yeah. and and as much as you guys are all part of one brotherhood, you're pushing each other to new rounds. What what inspires you? How do you keep yourself fresh when you're looking at new tricks? Um, kind of mastering tricks that are, yeah. are there. What what gets you creative, inspires you? Well, with me, it's like I check my, obviously, my younger brother, because he, like, he reminds me of when I was younger, so that keeps That's me cool. going the whole time. So I learn from him also, you know? Is he going to be better than you, do uh, you He's think? definitely better than me already. Oh, <laughs> I love that. He ain't the unlocked champion, dude. Yeah. So, of course, ultimately, you got to put your money where your mouth is, and yeah. you've got to perform on the big day. I, I was laughing, saying that you got the BMT earlier, and you mm. pulled it off two <laughs> tricks earlier. Um, what did you do for us earlier? What, oh, what that was, was that 360 kickflip. 360 kickflip, I might ask you to do that again. Maybe give us a little bit yeah. of a demo. Show us a couple of tricks there to inspire. Make your brother look bad right now. What's your what's name? Alan. Alan, yeah. you're a rock star, bro. Right, so what are you going to do for us now? Uh, I'll do shove it, and then I'll walk my up from there. Okay. Make it look so easy, dude. And then front shove it the other way. 
oh so easy. And then what you get, then you get a 367, or like all in one. Okay. Ah! Oh, look, we're, no, it, it counts, it counts. <laughs> okay, <one more. laughs> we'll play out with one more of those. Moses Adams, you're an absolute champion. And our ah! unlocked <laughs> champion this morning, but well done to all the SA skaters. Absolutely love you, dude. Ah, thanks Congratulations, lot, man. brother. Too. Awesome stuff. Now back on the board with our 2017 um, uh, champion, of course, dude, you, you really have been um, displaying some great tricks, yes, yeah. but I think showing us, giving us a window into your incredible um, career at the moment, and this, yes, is a major highlight, but you've always got to be looking forward. What's next for you? What's next this year? What's the next big? Well, this year, I'm going to obviously go to the States again, take my little brother with me, and just be out and just film maybe a video part that side, so I can get more exposure as well. How important is it to, to get that kind of exposure, to put yourself as a personal brand, get yourself out there? Well, you just have to be yourself and be humble about it and do what you love and then just move forward from there. When, when you look at building a career as a pro in this, in this game, what are the, the long-term goals? What are the things that you're always focusing on? Obviously, winning competitions like yeah. Unlocked, yeah, big one. Um, but you've got to look at the bigger picture, sure. Yeah, yeah. To, I want to start my own company soon as well. Like, see if I can get a shop out, clothing, and give back to the community as well. People that doesn't have boards or something like that. I love it because you're winning a new board like every weekend yeah, with so the, was, the kind of performance So I want to give in. back also to the kids that doesn't have that, you know? I love it, and it's such a good developmental tool. So you've shown us a couple of really cool tricks this ready, uh, already, your, your trademark. You've, you've shown us a little bit of a shove it yeah. and then a, a, a shove it 360. What are you going to show us now? Uh, I can do a basic kickflip. No? He says basic. <laughs> okay, but that's not basic for us. Well, I didn't kickflip this whole morning. So <laughs> he's been warming up, and so far the BMT has been there. So far he's nailed yeah. it, man. Oh, and he lands it. One more of those, please, okay. sir. So that's obviously a kickflip with the ollie, that you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you do it, okay, out nice. on the streets. I love it. Okay, okay maybe you can squeeze in one more trick for yeah. us. One more. Should I do the three flip again? Okay, do it, please. This is his trademark. Boom! And that's how you win yourself tournaments, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Moses, thank you so Thanks, much, man. my brother. All the best of luck for the rest of your year for what is promising yeah. to be an unbelievable career, man. Really, Definitely. really cool stuff, man. And that is our Unlocked Champion yeah, for 2017, ladies and gents, Moses Adams. <laughs>